previously on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> that guy, but kids these days, I swear. <laughs> can bear it. No, no. You're welcome. <laughs> and now back once again to my childhood. Hell! Sneak up B! Back with some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. When we last left off, oh, we arrived into the glorious Junon region. The area of perpetual afternoon. And uh, not shockingly, it is way bigger than the Junon demo. So after catching ourselves a little brown chocobo by moving around a bunch of minecarts, we use this little grits grabbers to start climbing up the walls, helping this one cheating dickhead build back his wagon so we can actually make our way back to grasslands whenever we want, as well as just scavenging the wonderful, beautiful, and dangerous area of Junon with all of its dilapidated ships and stuff. I did also come across a area that was off limits, which might be what leads to the four condor. I think they said they were like members of the nest or something. And that definitely sounds like something that's four condor related. But we also headed over to Junon where we were almost immediately recognized by the town's mayor. But thankfully, she's like most people and hates Shinra. So, you know, assumes that we're probably the good guys. But oh no, there's a little girl and apparently she's telling everyone that someone's under attack. Who can that be? <gasps> it's Yuffie! She's on a boat for some reason. What are you doing, Yuffie? And after she gets knocked out and we battle and beat up the big giant demon fishy that's just kind of hanging out down here for some reason. Cloud applies CPR, by which I mean Rhonda applies CPR. And Cloud just comes across a weird creepo, which freaks Yuffie out. But then she remembers, oh wait, these are the guys from Avalanche and I'm not a dickhead in this game and I'm not just gonna act like an asshole all the time. Giving us a little quiet thank you and running off. And I feel like it has to be said again, dude. I, I think Yuffie has done so much better in this game than the original. I'd say out of probably every character in the OG FF7 game, the Yuffie is probably the weakest one. Everyone else has like a good, I think a relatively good character. And a Yuffie does get better when you go to Wu Tai. However, I feel like if you just ignore Wu Tao, which is, by the way, totally optional, and just like stick with her or whatever, she's like the most unbearable character ever. Like she's kind of like there for comic relief sometimes, but most of the time she's just there to piss people off. Now, that's not to say that Sid was necessarily a good person in FF7 either, but that's kind of also the point of his character is that he is just not like necessarily a great guy. Maybe he can mean well, but he's also like, you know, a bit of a piece of shit, which I'm actually be very curious about how he is in this game. Because from just the little bit that we saw from uh, some of the, the trailers for this game that showed Sid, it showed him being very oddly nice. And I just want to know, was that stuff out of context? Or did they like change his whole character? Because he is like never nice <laughs> in the OG FF7. He's like a foul mouth, like ordinary kind of dude. So I don't know. I'll be very, very curious to see how they end up handling Sid in this game. But anyway, last episode, uh, the OC Maniac said. So remember to what I was talking about uh, last episode with Elena and her goofy role from uh, FS7 OG. So they said, to answer your question, Nico, they actually did bring back that gag with Elena back in this game. It's one of her attacks, Elena Knuckle. If you dodge the attack after her windup, she'll take a tumble and then uncontrollably roll forward. It was fucking hilarious the first time I saw it in the mines, and I love that they did that. And apparently somebody else actually replied to this, that if you actually uh, dodge it just right, she can actually fall off the cliff and fall out of the fight for like, for like a period of time before hopping back up again. What the hell, dude? That's amazing. That's so fucking amazing. Holy shit, dude. This game is something else, isn't it? That's so funny. I love that they did that because like I seriously doubt that like that's like starting to get like levels of like Looney Tunes shit, right? I, I kind of doubt they're going to bring that gag back like directly. Like she's just going to come fucking rolling with those soldiers again. It's like the same thing they did with like Palmer, who's also kind of toned down a bit, like still a wacky weirdo, but not like la, 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 like, like fucking bouncing around. So having it be like um, like something you see and when you're in a fight and you just dodge out of the way and actually like can even knock her out of the fight like that. That's that's perfect. They just these guys get it, man. These guys like get the tone of their game so fucking well. The tone that is FF7, which is this beautiful mixture of humorous and serious. It's almost like Yaksa in that way. 
But OC Maniac, thank you so much for your incredibly fun little factoid, man. And here's that reason you are coming today. All right. Well, anyway, I still have some stuff honestly left to do out in the uh, overworld there. I haven't even started getting the proto relic, but I wanted to see if I could possibly get Yuffie before we start doing that. I don't know. It, it might be might be that I end up getting locked into doing to doing like the main Junon stuff because I. So here's how this kind of went in the original game, right? Once you essentially initiated the next portion, the next major section of the game uh, in FF7 OG, you were essentially locked out of going back like to the Junon area and back to the world map for a good while. Uh, and I don't know. I don't know. That might happen here, too. So I, I, I don't know if I'll be getting her before we head to the next section or if it's or or not. I hope we do. Uh, what, what are we doing, actually? What, what is my goal? Che oh, check on your feet. Okay, good. We're not just like, all right, well, I guess we'll see you later. Maybe we'll run to each other again one day. Oh my God, she's not to running. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <laughs> well, uh. We are pretty cool. <laughs> Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. So wait! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later. And she's gone. Um. I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, been an age since the who by Uh, is it safe for me to do this? I'm not like. Hopefully, the game will warn me, cause. I mean, it, it could be that I don't have to worry about it and the game won't lock me into this shit, but I, I mean, no, I feel like it probably will for a bit. If it, I mean, if it's the same kind of section, which I think we've even seen a bit in the trailers, I mean, yeah, it's here. So I, I don't think I, uh, I imagine it will lock me in probably for a good while. Also, I should probably check the rooms and see if there's anything to steal. By the way, I will say for like a rather like emaciated, uh, fishing village full of like, Rod dilapidating buildings and stuff like that. They got some nice interiors in here, dude. Look at this shit. This place is fucking not. Wow, is it upstairs too? What the hell? Look at all this. Whoa, whoa. Come on, where's your free uh, mint chocolates under every pillow that I can steal and put in my big giant bag full of stuff? <gasps> oh, yes, my curiosity is rewarded. Hey, get out of my way. Ah, it's just lighting material. I take it though. I'll we'll take this chair too. Hope you guys don't mind. Oh. All right. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. And for story reasons. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> uh, Give me my own room. Five. Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So, if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? I don't know why nobody wants to stay here. Could it be the giant mutant fish that attack us on the daily? Knock, it's knock. Open. <gasps> I'm gonna talk with everyone. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Your autograph to join Avalanche, the Shinra bounties. Your autograph? Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> <laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Let me prove it to you. Let me sign your ass, Cloud. <sighs> no. Okay, maybe later. Yeah. Dude, that's so I love it. He actually did a whole uh, animation of him, like, pretending to do his autograph. Dude, Baron's such a fucking card. 
Like he starts off, you start the game, and this is the same for FF7 OG. You start the game thinking he's like the super serious fucking dude. But then you realize he's just like, he's just a big goofball. And adorable. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? They sure didn't. I could feel them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. What? Who the fuck is that? And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. She's talking about the whispers, by the way. And it was something we went back we went back and played through the remake again, right? And she, she mentioned at the start, right, that the whispers essentially took away some of her memories. But there was a, that, that was actually a plot point they even brought up in remake that kind of, I don't know, I guess I didn't think too much of. Where she was saying how, like, yeah, every time the whispers touch her, she, like, they suck up more and more of her memories. Until eventually by the end of the game where she's, I think, just kind of back to how she would have been if she didn't have her seemingly memories of the future damn whispers speaking of you seen them lately <laughs> cloud who's in there with you oh hmm. red thought it was someone else no nope. i'll clear here officer well hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful Oh, hey, purple chest. Let me back it. Oh, interesting. This is that's that's very interesting. Oh, so they're going to give him actually like a really different sounding voice uh, later on during certain parts. Is he putting on a voice that was never super clear in the original? Like there are essentially like kind of like two sides to red, right? And in a certain section of the game, you get to see more of that, but it didn't make it. God, he sounded like completely different there. So maybe, maybe the insinuation is that he is actually putting on a bit of a voice, which might make a little bit of sense. Oh man, that's actually crazy. I, that's that's actually really cool. Come in. I want that purple chest, baby? Oh, baby. What we got? Uh, Empress's scepter. For the Empress. I will say the nice thing about this auto upgrading thing, I mean, the fact that it's everything's just kind of upgrading at the same rate, uh, it means I don't have to go in here and like get a bunch of material slots for everything. So everything's kind of like the same, same spot. Uh, Radiant Aura. Conjure a war that grants invincibility while casting spells. Strengthen the Aerith's uh, basic attack. Ah, yes, this is very good. This is actually in the demo too. Oh, downside is there's no uh, freaking uh, link slots. Let's see, lightning damage up, enduring ward. Uh, increase the amount of MP or increase the amount of MP absorbed from Soul Drain, mass MP up, and increase MP regenerate. I, again, I I think if I remember right, that actually is something that was even in the last game, but it's like really slow. But sure, the hell's up with Red's voice? I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever, like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick. Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? Nope, the church, right? You shoved a flower at me. You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl, <laughs> especially if you're just going to give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Oops, I think I'm going to fuck that one up, actually. Shit. In retrospect, I think shoved a flower in my face was probably a bad idea. I was just thinking I would be like, well, I should be more specific, you know, about what it, what it is that will happen. More specific, the better. <laughs> but you just phrased it badly. Like, church, right? The church, right? Oh, so close. That was the second time. Oh, yeah. Right. That was fun, wasn't it? Hopping from roof to roof together like that? Is that the right? Like, I knew that was the second time. I'm actually not sure. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now I'm, I'm just curious what the other one is. Nope. Nope. You're kidding. 
The yellow flower, sector eight. Hmm, does ring a bell. Uh, you and your winning sense of humor. Ah, that was actually kind of tough. I, I'm actually starting to, I'm actually starting to think that the other one was actually the right one. Even though it sounded like not good. You shoved a flower in my face. I don't know. I, I mean, that's technically the right answer. I feel like that. I think that is actually the best answer. I think saying no there is like, yeah, you don't remember anything, and that's kind of sucks. And then the other one's like, oh, you were close, but not right. But I don't know. Maybe it's better to be second and not right, be right. But that that's almost like a you'd have to know after you picked it. You know. You know what? I, fine, I'm sticking with that one. I can't really tell unless it says my relationship deepened, but for all three of them, it just says it's it's changed, right? And it only deepens when you level up. Knock, knock. Red, what was that weird voice you were using earlier? Do it again. I want to hear it. No. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Oh, not good. Don't worry. I never thought you could, would. Well... We'll manage. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. <laughs> fish bones in my nose. My poor nose. Aw. Poor baby. Actually, I should have gone talk to Aerith again after her. Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Tifa, where you at? Oh. Hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Our bed's waiting. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Aw. Oh. Come in. Oh, good on you, Cloud. Good on you. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Only person in the village I remember is you. The general store kid? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? I wonder if she would have liked you, liked it better if you said it. Uh, only person I remember is you. I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model and... You're not interested, are you? Not really. But uh, I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. Aw. It's okay. Forget it. God damn it, Cloud. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Oh man, this is so good, dude. They both feel like they can't be honest with each other and they're, they feel sort of like, hmm, at the same time, like not fully trusting each other, you know? I think I'll turn in early tonight. Oh, damn it. I suck at this. Again, this is a lot better than what it was in the original where, hey, okay, good. At least everyone's at the same affinity level, by the way. Um, again, where Tifa really just didn't say anything to Cloud. Just, it felt like a lot of it would just kind of went like unsaid, 
Well, this one, I mean, we're, it's the same thing, right? But there, there's like, there's clearly this tension between them. There's this attempts being made, but they're both kind of like falling short and fucking up. They don't know exactly what the right words are. And it feels more natural than just like, yeah, we just didn't say anything until that big thing at the end. I wonder if that fish over there sings if I press the button or beneath it. That'd really help brighten my day. Oh, wow. Well. Rest for the night, yes. Oh, don't do some fucking crunches, baby. Every day. I always sleep in his shoes and full armor. Ah, oh, film restore, baby. The fuck, Barrett? No, I don't want breakfast. Come on in, guys. Oh. Hey. Sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. Oh god, it's the thing she practiced in the last game. Homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ. They just didn't understand, but you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, <laughs> we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop. <laughs> we I done some shit. That. <laughs> I resent that. Although, that is something we do. You're not wrong. Come here. Yeah, what's up? Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just spit it out already. Rufus? Who else? But a certain company. Oh, it is. Rufus freaking Shinra. That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them. And then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Oh. Uh-oh. Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> Oh my god. Away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you. Because <laughs> I would love to do it. Who's that? <sighs> A pain in the ass. Let's go. God, here we go. He's back. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad, dude. Ah, uh, Roche is back. Friends together again. Damn it, you didn't join my party? Fuck! Uh, wow. Interesting, with, with our bounty, huh? So she did actually end up selling us out to, uh... I guess the Shinra or she sold us out to Roche. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. They had to bring Roche back, right? He's easily one of the best, like, brand new characters that they brought to this shit. They had to bring him back. <laughs> the whole town's going like, what the fuck? Coming weirdo. God, yes, right. Nobody here knows who this is. I did all that with uh, Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge. On 
Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Hey. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Come embrace me. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game for Uh, me? Did you come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. I know. I'm looking at him. <laughs> you might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Ah, uh, okay. New quests are available in the Junon region. Fast travel's now available, all right. Queen's Blood a bit characters oh, available in the, at the Crow's Nest, huh? Oh shit, we got stuff to do now, boys and girls. No, okay, I don't think we're getting Yuffie. I think we're not getting Yuffie until potentially after the next section. Damn, okay. Balls. That's kind of why I, th I went through this. I was thinking that we might be able to get her. I'm pretty sure this will lock us into the next part because this, this is this part is following how it went in the original. My, minus Roche showing up and apparently um, we're gonna battle each other up above. Okay, well, uh, Rhonda, you apparently have a freaking quest. Also, hi, Dougie. <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. When words won't well, do. Since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. Nah. This here is Salmon. Salmon? Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him more safe. Aww. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. Where's the son? The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. Money. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's got to learn to stand on his own two feet. Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Ah. It's music. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward. I don't know if the crow's nest is supposed to be for Condor. But if Condor, I or? a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. Don't worry, he'll you be treated well. Safe. Yeah. He hit it for the fellow. <laughs> Does he really need me? He knows where he's going. Or right, who else we got? Calling all frogs. 
Under oh, that's that that weird area, isn't it? Oh yeah. What the fuck? Is that Luffy Frog? Ribbit. Oh. Uh, hello. Whoa! Hey, what do you think you're doing here? This is a no grown-up zone. Get lost. Shut up, butthead. Why don't you put a poster you're on the kid? board then? Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a frog. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just, there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> Whatever, Luffy. Of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, It's obviously. like Luffy and Aang put Actually, together. we could use a couple more players. Since you're here... You what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, Demon Lord! Come on, Cloud. Uh-oh. I tried to warn you. Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog. <laughs> oh my god, cute she is. All you gotta do is start thinking like a frog. Thankfully, it transforms my clothes into frogs. The frog one too. Ribbit. Ribbit. Uh, Ribbit, we got this. Bra, bra. Ugh. Take this, leapfrog. Uh. Get him, Barrett. Leapfrog him. Uh. This is some goofy shit. Got some weird ass frog mini game or something going on over here. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Tifa is actually no, this is red. Red is actually much faster at attacking than uh, Barrett is. Oh, boosh. Oh, boosh. Oh, he's got one eye, too. Look at these little details, man. It's so cute. Barrett's a big brown frog. Red's a little red frog. Cloud's just a regular green frog with a big, with a mini buster sword. Tifa's got, she got like her little skirt on and her feet are red like her shoes. And Aerith, hold on, Aerith, I can't see you. It's so bright. Come over here. Oh, she has a bow on her head. Come on, go on the, go on the this side. Or I can see you better. Yeah, she's got a little bow on her head. That's so cute. They were like, we need to make a little mini game or something, right, for this shit, because we put a lot of effort in how these frogs look and making them look adorable. Oh God! Ribbit! Ribbit! Okay. Here are the rules. Press circle to leap over incoming obstacles and dash to safety with R two or uh, L three. Make the platform as long as you can. Prove your amphibian finesse. Get knocked off though, and you'll croak. Oh my God! What is this fucking fusion frenzy? So I get three Enfeeblement rings, so I make everyone a frog at all times. Good. Okay, so rank three, I need to be on it for a minute and 20 seconds. This goofy shit. Fusion Frenzy! Whoa! All right, here we go. Wee! Oh, okay. Okay, so touching that, even, okay, even touching that a little bit, I see. It's got kind of wacky, wacky physics. Do not touch it. Touching it is death. Uh. 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 Uh oh. The floor starts going away after a while. Okay, oh god. Uh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I got screwed! Ah! What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Eh. 
I've played worse. <laughs> I've played worse. Thanks again. Yeah, at least not whack a box. Whack a box. You looked like you were having fun. Wasn't. Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> hey. Ribbit. 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh my gosh, so the, by the way, the, the, the song is going Kira, 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 which is Japanese for ribbit. Hilarious. Did it, did it, did it, did it. This actually might get kind of hard. Ah, damn it. Damn. Yeah, minute 20 is actually kind of tough. Yes, yeah, so, so you get here and you really just got to make sure that when you're coming around this thing, it is not going to be right when the top one comes over. So under it. Uh, uh. The top one's coming, so... Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no, I... St uh, still didn't arrange myself great. God damn it. Fuck. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, no. God dang it. Wow, and another piece falls off. Fuck. That really gets hard at the end, man. Dude, what the fuck, man? Eventually the platform gets so small, it's like, I have barely any wiggle room to actually uh, maneuver. Dude, that last one is so difficult because I die in that exact same place every time because it's like, it lands, I can't go too far to the right because that's where the platform's falling. So maybe I gotta be like really far to the left? So that part's falling. Oh, I, oh, I did it, I did it. I, 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 I finally did it and barely missed it. Okay, ugh. Okay, 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 now we're good. Now we got it. Okay, we did it. We'll go as long as we can. Ah, ah. Yeah, that one part there was like the most awkward part. Oh, there we go. Now you just have to go really far to the right. A pretty good frog for ribbit. grump that is ribbit, ribbit. another round no we are done dude our frog ribbit. adventures end now ribbit, ribbit. so the rules for nothing what do you i did everything you dumbass let's get out of here guys just one little nibble and i zogan oh well, would you look at that i finally hope to catch and a good one too Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years. Hell yeah, old man. Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. Let's see about that, old man. Yeah, I see. You get a promotions per, like, number of beaded enemies. So I'm, I'm up to promotion two. Okay, we got a crawler, power of two, but he's got a kind of a weird angle. If you push him out in the front, eh, that's kind of a weird one. When played, lower the portion of enemy cards on affected tiles by three. Or, oh, sorry, lower the power. So directly in front. Kind of a weird one again as well. When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on effective tiles by one. I'm gonna stick with what I got, actually. So when a Zemlet. Raise the power of allied cards on effective tiles by three when this card is in play. Okay, you get two down in front of you, and then it's behind you. All right. This guy's got some weird shit. It's a Quetzalcoatl. Getting the setups going. It's getting buff. But so am I. That's, oh fuck. And I lost, shit. Here we go, I got the Choco Moogle to start. That's a good one to start with. Man, this guy's kinda kicking my ass. I need to start rethinking my strategy here. Uh, did I get him? No, god damn this fucker. This guy keeps fucking pulling, uh, he's pulling a victory in the end, shit. I might just need to get better cards. So I see what the crawler is actually good for here. So if I put this, this dude down in the center, I could do this. This then gives me uh, two threes up in the corner, which is quite good. Oh my God, this fucker. Dude, he has one. Oh, this bitch. Oh, this guy has something for fucking everything. I'm like, oh, okay, I secured this woman down here. No, I haven't. Oh, I hate you so much, dude. Oh, I fucking hate you so much. I was so close. You goddamn mother... 
fucker. I don't think I can beat this guy. Yeah, I don't think I, I fucking don't think I can beat this dude right now. This guy's kicking my ass. What about you, lady? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but. Oh. That was really last was cut Isabel, off. By the way, was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although. Maybe you can put up a decent fight. I like how what all these card saying? guys. One round of QB before I set sail. Have a little, have a little thing for me to put my giant sword. It's almost like they've been waiting for. Hey, Shiva, when played, uh, spawn diamond dust of power two, four, or six in empty positions. Cool. Legendary. All right, let's give it a try. God, that other guy was fucking smoking me. I could not figure out how to get around him. I need just, like some weird unorthodox like uh, spots or something. Oh, hell yes. That's the play right there, baby. You dang bitch. Now you stay right there in that spot. You're not getting out of here. You are done, son. And that's a fucking victory for me. Wait, let's do this shit. Ah! I complete curb stop this lady. Shiva. Oh, interesting. There, it creates no new spots, though. Spawn power of two, four, or six in empty positions. Is it random? Damn. You took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Darn well, tootin'. I could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. Just to swab the the deck, the poop deck. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Teach valuable life lessons through children's card game. Oh, interesting. I actually, no way. I am actually meeting Salmon uh, outside the outside this entrance. I, th I thought I was going to the the crow's nest entrance, starting from there. Oh, oh no! I do have to protect the dog. Uh-oh. Okay, doggy. Gotta be nice and careful here. Follow do I have to follow you? Can't you just follow Don't me? You worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Can I just carry you? Uh-oh. Oh boy, this no, oh, this seems like this hey, is gonna go remind me. Poor like how old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, I'm spring, so thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But. But. Huh? 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it. Since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price to two grand. Sentimental, ain't you? <laughs> Bow wow. Okay. Wanna let me make sure our store is finished before we. <laughs> Don't you touch the doggo. I swear to God. If you touch a hair on his head, I've just met him, but I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. <laughs> bow wow 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 wow. So we just went from a Kiro Kiro song to now a bow wow wow song. I wonder if I like if I ever get on my chocobo, would I go like would he be able to keep up? Or would I go like way past him? I would go way past him, yeah. It's better off running. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Good job, doggy. Not even a scratch on him. Okay, me out. What? Go out, some parents stop the kids from leaving the nest, claiming it's too soon or they're not ready. Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep all to myself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. <laughs> Maybe 
baby, I'll panic. Get in the way. Hold it down. All to keep her safe. That's so oh, funny. Me. I wish you could be my baby girl. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing fluff dialogues we're running over here. <laughs> he's, yeah, and then it, I like he's like, no, I, I always promised I'd never be that way. But goddamn it, dude, what the fuck is it? <laughs> Good job, doggy. Dog is not getting any damage. Oh, my sweet baby girl. <laughs> what now? Your daddy. Your silly daddy. Gonna, he's gonna fail you. Oh, I can't let you go. I just can't. Barrett, get your shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. She's barely out of diapers. Up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Glass, I was such a good time fucking with Barrett. God damn it, this is just so good. I love it, like, hey, we're gonna have to run a long ass distance with this dog here. Let's have some, like, amazing, amazing dialogue with the character. Oh my God, hi. Suddenly, Sandstorm Drake. Uh, you've been petrified. Taking a certain amount of damage while in this state will turn you to stone, rendering you incapacitated. Uh, avoid avoid damage till the stats wears off. Procure the ailment with Asuna. Remedies or other uh, spells or items with similar effects. Oh God! Return of petrification. Too bad. Okay, weak to win. The rare cyclone Drake variant creates sandstorms powerful wings to trap and weaken its prey. Uh oh, and she's turned to stone. Don't know if I have anything to cure it. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Die, please. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Salmon. Oh, no, Salmon did actually take a little damage that time. I failed you, Salmon. Just like Barrett. It's going to fail Marlene. Hey! We made it. Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. <laughs> Look at his face. Uh, do I know you? Dylan. You're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe and to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? Claire! You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe. Fuck you, dude. Come on. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. <sighs> Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. Call J. Cheap, Dylan. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster was looking for you, dude. Toby. Dilster. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on. Aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Yeah. Avalanche? Wait. You mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. Cool. And finally, Bear got a uh, got his uh, one of his compendium things. He was behind everybody else. All those willing to fight against Shinra's tyranny. Man, you Midgarinos are protest. something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. 
All right, I think this is actually voiced by Paul St. Castor again. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. I.e. Rindo. Rindit! Piano! So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. God damn it. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. That was us! Allegedly, we did that! that. Is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? Because they're waiting for us. That's about the lighthouse. The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. I'll do you a solid. Oh, Yo, you're the best. You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or me? You can sniff out trouble. I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. What about Four Condor? I get that we're brand new to the CAS. Is the lighthouse Four Condor? I must know! Well, better get used to it. All the senior members get to do the Also, cool holy stuff. shit, there's things going on in here. Where's the best <gasps> you think? Piano and a man! La, 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 Sir? Sir? Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. That's not a thing! It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. Oh, it begins. Here we go. Obtain sheet music found at pianos around the world to add these scores to your repertoire. If you achieve, achieve an A rank in a performance with Speak with Dorian, he'll reward you for, for your musical prodigy. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you? Ooh, okay. So we got a total of six uh, song pieces. So what we got? This is Tifa's theme? On our way. That was a different one. All right, select the piece you would like to perform. Perform the piece, tilt in the notes in the direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! On our way. All right, start with a basic note speed here. Note speed is basically like, how much reaction time does it actually give you? And it gets pretty intense. We tried that in the, in the demo. All right, see so if we can do this shit. Bum, 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 bum. 
Do so good. Ah, crap. I was doing so good till the very end. I screwed up. Still not for an A, though. I think you actually be, have to be actually perfect to get a, uh, a star rank. How is that, Dorian? People are gonna come up with some crazy shit. People are gonna get like so good at this and actually play like full songs. I was already seeing some of that in from just the demo. Mellifluous melodies are Ape all the materia. Ooh. played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Hell yeah, man. It's fun. It's actually it's actually a really fun mini game. Oh, got another booster pack here. Death Wheel, Ignalis, Scrutinize, Hellrider 2. This might help me. Team up with your partner to perform a strange scatter shot. Aerith and Tifa. Cool. The history of Junon. Okay, everyone. Who's ready to learn some history? Our Republic's capital, Junon, was built on top of giant ships that floated just offshore. But many years later, Shinra started a war. A war that Shinra ended up winning. But now we plan to kill them all for it. Floating city. Shinra then built a giant underwater reactor. Ooh, hey. After his Mako started killing the creatures of the sea. There's that. The Mako hurts creatures on land too. And if we don't act fast, it'll even start hurting. I don't imagine we'll be going there this game. We have to work together to stop Shinra. So never forget children that the ocean is counting on you. Okay. And what do we always say? No tears until our waters are crystal clear. 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 Cute. Our latest newsletters. So much character, man. Even on the NPCs here. We got another quest here, too. The Condor Watching Society. Oh, oh, really? Our beloved Condor has not graced the skies above Juno in quite some time. We worry for her welfare and wish to hire someone to prepare a culinary feast that she will find too tempting to resist. Those who would provide us to survive to join us on Condor Hill. Oh, actually, I just realized it's not afternoon anymore. <laughs> I see what Juno looks like during, like, regular daytime. Got so used to seeing it all orange and shit from uh, the uh, Junon demo. I got pretty blue skies. Weather the storm. If y'all amazed in a time limit, pressure is staggered, okay? Uh, storm wing. A rare fleet wing variant that possesses uh, hide and ca flying capabilities. Sources the air and assaults this prey with ease. All right, sit him with some wind then. Oh, yeah. Oh, smash. Power of a gun. All right, Radiant Ward. Now it makes her attacks and turn to this shit, which is awesome looking. And now she can heal her. She can uh, cast spells without uh, taking damage. Or, or at least not being interrupted. All right. United refocus. Aerith. Wah! Three bars for both of us. Oh shit, I couldn't be even the time of those stupid birds. Goddamn, what is it, Chad? Like. Most excellent work, Cloud. Did that battle prove a fitting test of your prowess? <laughs> your dissatisfied expression says it all. Oh, yes, I noticed that as well. You aren't equipped with that functionality. <laughs> anyway, with the data from your latest bout, I created a new virtual combat trial. It will prove a real test. Okay. So long. Battle objectives complete. There we go. I'm a rambling, gambling fella. If you want to hear my tale, I'll tell you. What? Tell me. Doo doo. You with an agency? Here to sign me? 
You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil. And I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. Or the only. Say? Wanna play against a future celebrity? Bring it on, Garth Brooks. This guy's got a flamethrower. When destroyed, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. When destroyed? Oh, so you intentionally blow them up? That's a weird one. That seems like, hey, do I feel like sabotaging myself? I feel like he's made for like a really specific kind of deck. All right, so we got the, oh yeah, these little motorbike things. Whoa, that's a weird fucking one. Lowers the power of allied enemy cards by three in very far in front of you. All oh, these weird eyeballs, Scruton, scrutiny. Raise the power of allied and enemy cards on infected tiles by one. Okay. Raise the power of allied cards on infected tiles by two while this card's in play. Okay. All right, let's go try. Oh, whoa. Holy shit, that's pretty damn good. Oh, I see it's like a final thing to do. Okay. All right, I'm already, I'm already screwed, but I, I see. You throw this down at the end in empty positions that have things claimed by me. Okay, I understand. So that's, that's how Shiva works. You save her for the last card. You're like, hey, I want to seal the deal. Oh shit, bitch, I win. Ugh. Oh my god! You know, the funny thing is, a lot of this game really does have to do with the order, right? Like, I, sometimes you keep finding yourself getting the exact same, like, like, shitty, like, okay, this guy just keeps putting this fucking flame trooper guy in the center, right? And it always, like, like essentially, you'll put down a, a thing that allows you to claim this next territory, but then he puts down his card and stops you from claiming the territory. It's almost like a game of tic-tac-toe, right? Where the person that's like first like always wins or something. So it's like, but you ha you have to really adjust to like, okay, if I keep running into that same situation here, instead place a card in a different spot, right? So that you sort of get back out of that order again. And then you catch him putting the cards down and you overtake his spot, right? Essentially undoing his move. It's very like that God back and damn, forth. Dude, you legit wipe the floor with me. Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me. Clear as day. That's it. I can feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That boss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, do, 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 do. keep strumming guitar and playing cards. Till I die. Do, 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 do. Like goofy ass characters, I tell you what, man. I tell you what. Hello. Hi, ma'am. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. The hell? What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? Sure. Uh, Mind Flare. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one while this card is in play. Whoa. Wow, it affects a lot. Okay. It's a lot of spaces. So here is what I mean, right? For example, when he puts a card, if I put my card down here, he will likely put a card here to take over this spot and stop me from advancing more than likely, right? Watch. Yep. So it's like in that instance, I could have put a card somewhere else to prevent that. Like usually you want them to put the card down in that moment so that I can stop them. Granted, I could still potentially get it if I have a card that is like this, for example, that goes at like this diagonal. That's why the diagonal ones could be so helpful. However, you can still get that one in the center, so that's going to push him forward. But... Put that spot down, so then the center's covered now. He's going to put a... Ooh, oh, he's going to blow up his things, and that's... A good thing, apparently, for him. Ah! 
So much buffing. What the... Whoa. She's getting weird. Ah! Oh, he's like slowly buffing this thing. Yeah. It's like sucking up more power. Oh, shit. She just keeps like destroying more new ones. I'm gonna keep buffing. Okay, this could be bad. Yeah, seeing just like that, she's not ended my turns. And now I'm screwed, baby. We'll see. It kind of depends. How buff can she make this thing? She's got plenty of opportunities to power up Tomberry King. Uh, you gonna run out of cars? What the hell's happening? She keeps throwing them down and they're dying. And is that good? I don't know. It's not really doing anything. Uh, oh, is that the Midgar Sormer? It is. Okay, I think I'm screwed now. Yes, I am. Wow, that was a weird round, dude. There we go. I trapped her so she didn't get, she only could put down weak cards. That's the way. Mind Flayer. Yeah, this is like for destruction shit. That was great. See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone. You, my friend, are now- Got from Blood Peasant to Blood member. Squire. Queen's blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Cause the key to world peace isn't violence, it's joy. Plain it's kids card games. Joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. I'll do it, ma'am, but not cause you asked me. The fuck? Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's another tough guy here. Who among you is a worthy opponent? Here among you. Wait, hold on. Mithra Ore. I am, maybe. <laughs> Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. There's sounds As over I there. Communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. My friends are running walls right now. Bring are it on, bitch. Then come. Come, boy. Uh, defeat Keeper of the Crow, Cameron. Oh, fuck. All right, I'll do it. Oh, there's Midgar Sormer. When allied and enemy cards are destroyed, raises this card's power by one. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, this is what ties to... You do that alongside the destruction one, you can do some crazy shit, all right? Uh, oh, God, we're tied. I don't think we're about to not be tied, though. Actually, wait, no. As long as I can... Uh... What happens in a tie? What do we do? They're not a tie before. Nobody wins. That's it. It's basically like a loss. Consider it a loss. Damn it. What the fuck? Oh, I win. I win. Whew. Okay, I was like, oh my god, no fucking way. Give me your Midgar Sormer, bitch. What the hell? This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. What the hell? No. There it is again. That voice. Could it be? Has returned? Huh? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. Exodia? <laughs> oh my god, they got some 
crazy deep deck card lore. This man awaits me. Is it like the Lord or something? So it must come to take his place. There must always be an Elden Lord. Slash Fire Lord or something. What have I done? Yo, oh my god, what have I done? I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. Oh, oh my god, what the fuck? That's amazing. Uh, you see you the future. Okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? Yes. You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator <gasps> of Queen's Is Black. that who that was? After he started selling cards, he spoke of... Everyone's still running to the wall over there. Voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down. Upside doodly. Cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Right. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. No problem. Guys, you're ruining the moment here. Back our Actually, maybe these kids run around. Oh my God, it's gonna be like some crazy, like Sephiroth final boss, card boss, or something, right? <laughs> I dig it, man. I dig it. Condor Hill. Hello. Oh, <laughs> young lady, we've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. I thought they were talking so, to me. What are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. Well, it ain't one of uh, those really hooded men people, earlier, so. But its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Like mad. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. A little late. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but... Uh... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. Condor. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep caps on its well-being and whatnot. It's where the feed. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. I was saved. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. Like a bird? Because it is a bird. Here, but at least they're still free. All right, old man. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. Ah, over the hunting grounds, okay? It's fine. I cannot find where this divine intel is over here. It's like a cave or something? <gasps> Look, over there. A moo cow! I'm gonna feed my big moo cow? I will approach you, Mr. Cow. The cow doesn't give a shit, dude. There goes the condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent. Gonna get you, moo cow! Oh, there it is. Oh, no. 
It's being attacked by doodles! No! Ah! I must kill the cow, not you! I saved you, Mr. Cow, now come with me. What the fuck is that? Holy shit! No! Mr. Cow, no! Oh my god! Cow! The chocobo could track him. Again, I'll save that cow. <laughs> Bring his death another way. Oh no, is the cow dead? Mystic Dragon. Oh shit, we're getting some real music too. And everyone lives in, lives in a case. We take after consuming because creatures exposed to Mako from the underwater reactors. Results flush to get, get to Rawl. This creature lives and still lives and breathes. Clean enough damage will pressure, but once pressure will fly high into the air. Show them divine punishment, guys. Team is way over there. But still hitting him, so it's fine. Damn, this is just so cool. The laser she shoots out in this move is so sick. Ah, yeah. What do we do now? Monster Flash. Oh. Did I have a choice there? I think I did. That was kind of confusing. I was I, I was like, the camera's locked there. I think I was supposed to look to the right or the left. I wonder if that's going to be a good or not. I don't know. I don't want to hurt the, the condor or whatever. I guess we can see what happens. Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. I've never seen meat of that particular color. Are you sure it's safe for condor consumption? No, I don't. Gotta say, it's kind of nice looking up and seeing a blue sky. Beats a steel one, that's for sure. Aerith's like, fuck you guys! <laughs> Though at least with a steel sky, you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kind of get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Hmm? <sighs> what a sight! I never dreamed I'd be able to see. God, I hope it doesn't eat it and just like go crazy or die oh. or something. Oh, wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir! Come on! <laughs> Gather around, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! Say cheese! Cheese! Don't hurt her, hurt us! What? She's shooting fucking everywhere. So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera. Oh, in. Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. It's all fucking blurry. <laughs> it's like a mess. The hell is this? Damn it, Janet! <laughs> Well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss, I'd like you to have this as a souvenir. <laughs> Cute. Wording material. Nice face, Cloud. Shut up. All right, cool. I think we're okay. Ooh, hey, I'm level three with Tifa. <sighs> I blew it again. God Just damn like it, all the fuck. Do. I really am nothing. I, I guess we're all right. And I was like, I, I, I kind of was like, oh god, am I about to get a bad yeah, ending? I had a sighting like that, and who knows how long. It was a little clear in that scene. I mean, maybe it said the bomb you had to like turn, you turn your camera or something. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't matter. 
It'd be really funny if Larry's just like, nah, Bert's, Bert's fucking dead. Way to go, dumbass. You let him die. It's all your stupid fault. Ah, whoops. I should probably go over here and grab these uh, transmuter chips. Oh, hey, there he is. I see him. Yeah, he's just sitting on top of that thing over there. I see him vomiting up. Oh, fuck, did you feed me? I think you liked the meat we gave him, guys. And, oh, uh, wait, no, he's dead. <laughs> now transmit a psychic's charm. Uh, transmit an enhanced uh, sailor's bracer. And enhanced Elvadunk Bengal. Woo! And wise fox bracelet. Okay, last of these guys. I remember these guys from the demo. Yeah, you have to. The hard, tough, one, tough one about these guys. You have to. You have to prevent them from taking flight with their soothing breeze. So basically, you have to keep hitting them with ice. Yeah. Like so. There we are. All right, last of the last combat uh, objective complete. Nice, you've successfully completed all two non-combat assignments. Oh, is something the matter? Perhaps you're fatigued from your battles? Then allow me to provide a massage. And how do you plan to do that? Why, by way of resonance, of course. I can use my gorgeous vocal vibrations. Um, <clears throat> like so. Ah, oh, my ears. <laughs> All right, Mai, you've had your fun. Now then, your latest triumph has allowed me to create a new combat trial. I hope you enjoy it. Ow. Oh, there it is. The legend also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the kind angler. As thanks for his fire, the great bird brought forth myriad fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, Remember to praise Phoenix. Praise be to Phoenix. Praise him. Okay, circle X, circle, or X circle. There we go. All right, that's the last of the uh, Phoenix data. Well done. You've located and analyzed all the crystals in the Junon region. Thanks to you, Phoenix's flames will no doubt be that much more radiant. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall. You'll first need to confront the divine via the combat simulator. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that later. What? I found a play art suite. What the fuck? Huh? What the fuck is that? I found a fucking play arts Kai figure out here. <laughs> what the shit? Oh my god! A total replica of a sweeper's production was overseen by advanced weaponry. What the hell? She was buried in here? Oh man, it's still a mint condition. Oh shit. What do I do with it? Can I like hang it up? Can I, I put it on a shelf somewhere? Can I get by a giant nerdy office full of uh, cases to stick it in? That I can use it as my streaming background? Yeah, maybe, no? Weirdly specific? Well, that's, that's actually really cool. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's going on, but there's like a whole mini game of collecting like fucking figures. I am all down for it, man. Okay, we're going over here. Yes, hello, Chocobo. Whoa. Kyrie. Good lord. Kyrie, what have you done? What have you fucking done? All right, last one of these. Your combat data has revealed the location of the Mind Flare lurking in the Junon The region. Mind Flare? Instead, this eldritch horror devours the brains of its victims. We cannot turn a blind eye to this threat. Well, goddamn. Better go kick his ass. Oh, over there. The Mind Flayer. Cool, that must be serious, like super serious boss fight. Can I even start on the fucking Proto Relic thing yet either? This, the, God, there's a lot more stuff here to do in Junon than I was expecting. Like a lot, lot, lot more. Whoa. Oh my God. It's a fucking Kyrie Chocobo. Your energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. All right. All right. I'll give it to you, Kyrie. That's, that's pretty adorable. 
Who's a good Kyrie burp? I like you better than real Kyrie. Your privacy guaranteed. Wow. Good God. Greetings. Kyrie, Merc of Junon. And you are. Oh, man. I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. Uh, Whose fault is that? you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But, like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? <laughs> Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. Oh, I got the crazy eyes. <clears throat> Allergies. What? <laughs> Shut up. This thing can talk? Indeed. You just noticed that. Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama. I will eat you. Uh, yikes. Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. Uh-oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Pretty good, right? Folks will be lining up in no Ah, it's bringing all the monsters here for some reason. Wait, monsters? What could have drawn them here? We like music! I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me! After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a Merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these! I don't want your dank merch. Pass. Pass. Oh. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. Not if I fast travel out of here. It's fucking music, dude. What the shit? Damn, Kiri, you were getting a lot of screen time in this game. You were getting a big ass focus. Just like these weird ass slimes down here. Get out of here. God damn it, Kiri, you're so fucking annoying. Um, this is gonna hurt. I saw you take that hit, you know. And they call you the pro. Dead. Oh my god. This music is killing me. Dead. Is she really watching from up there? Huh. Too easy. Huh. Here it comes. This one's for you. Okay. The boss is getting bored, and she's not paying you to have fun out there. You're paying me anything at all. Whatever. 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 Curie. My God, there's so many. What the fuck? Whoa. White moose. Best do it right. Mutated flan that have absorbed Mako polluted sweat seawater, and this become poisonous. They swallow their prey whole, slowly weakening these unfortunate victims with their bodily fluids. Hitting them with elemental damage will pressure them, but also cause them to develop a resistance, begin absorbing that element. Once they have advantage, they will unleash a powerful magic attack. Uh oh. Try this. Uh, Let's finish it. Strike uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. 
Finish this. Let's go, Tifa. Oh, God. She's camera. And now I know why I wasn't getting any customers. Oh, God. She's walking right through it. Past all those uglies. I'm glad you learned something. I'll turn that music off. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm going to split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Chocobo hey. gear, ha! Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <sighs> Don't touch me. <laughs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. <laughs> my dudes! Ah! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. Uh, it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She's dead. She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. I just met you. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Oh my god, is there more missions here? I figured that was the last one. Also, ow! Nah, that's the last one. Granted, we still have the proto relic that we gotta do. And also fight him. God damn, there's so much stuff to do. And it's also interesting and fun. I mean, Grant Carrier can be fucking annoying, but the combat in this game is so fucking enjoyable. This game just makes me want to do everything. Well, all right, guys. I think I need to pry myself away from the controller now. <laughs> I must stop playing. Must stop. You must keep playing. <laughs> no, I, got, I gotta stop, all right? I still have a couple of guys left uh, to beat the uh, uh, Queen's Blood with. That one guy in the, the, the harbor back in June was really giving me trouble. I still gotta do the Proto Relic quest as well as this. I mean, I guess I could always save some of this stuff for later. I don't have to do it all right now, but we're pretty close to being finished. And then we'll move on to uh, the next big section, which I think will be uh, really fucking fun. Funny, yeah, they're, okay, so I saw four condo over here, but we didn't actually do anything with it. I don't know, maybe, I feel like there's still gonna be something there, right? It's, it's over there. It is actually over there. And we see the birds sitting on top of it. I think it might not, I might not get it until I get like a boat or something, you know? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Unless it's also, unless it's of like the proto relic thing, which maybe it is. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.